Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. As you can see, I'm in the water, about to go for a dive. The conditions are absolutely terrible. The water's like mud. The squall's up outside. But I thought I'd just come inside the bay here. Maybe see if I can find some sea urchins in this dirty water. Maybe feed them mussels. Who knows what I'll be able to see, but I'm gonna have a go anyway. Maybe make a sea urchin pass this afternoon. So, see you guys under there. Phew. the best eating sea urchins are the red ones. Here is also some footage of the black ones. They are much bigger. I only take the red ones today. If anyone has any more info about the black ones and how they taste in equivalent to the red, comment below and let us know. Strangers again, strangers again, strangers again. It's sad to know, it's sad to know, it's sad to know. Okay guys, this is what we've come up with today. Five sea urchins, octopus and a brim. So I'm going to show you how to clean these things up. And hopefully we can come up with something special. I've actually never eaten or cleaned sea urchins. So this is the first time for me. I've got a tip off my mate Greg. You bloody legend, thanks mate. So I'm going to take his method on how to do this and I'll run you guys through it now. Hopefully I don't miss anything or get anything wrong but I'm going to eat it anyway. So we'll see how we go. First, we need a bucket of salty ice water. I'm not sure, but that should be enough. I'll go put some water in this now. Ice water. Throw some salt in there. Next, he said to get a pair of scissors. I've got some black panthers here. He said to cut open the back of the sea urchin. Next, he said to get a spoon. Scoop out everything inside. So I'm pretty sure that's the part we eat there. See that row? So he said there should be five sections of this. So one, two, three, four, five, yep. So the reasoning for putting in the salty ice water, he said that just gets rid of all the guts and that. Yeah, so I'm assuming the part we eat is this orange part. I bloody hope so, because that's the bit I'm going to be eating. Right, oh guys, one done. Now complete the other four, and then we'll start on the octopus. I nearly need some safety glasses doing this. That's what it looks like inside the sea urchin, guys. Well, this one's very full compared to the last two. Look at all that. Right, right guys, after it's been soaking in the salt water for a little while, transfer it to another bowl, ready to eat. I want to actually try a little bit now. different. Salty. I think it might be nice in a pasta dish. Don't know about it fully on its own, but see how it comes up later in a pasta dish, eh? Alright, there you have it, guys. You don't get a lot of meat out of five sea urchins. Well, I guess it's not really meat. 
but you don't get a lot out of five sea urchins. I guess that's why you're allowed to take 10 per person. Today I only grabbed the five, but next time I might grab a couple more if I like it later in the pasta dish. Right, right, guys, now for the octopus. I've actually never cleaned one of these either, so correct me if I'm wrong on how I'm doing it, but I'll have a go. So I'm gonna cut the eyes out. That way I can access the beak. Because I'm assuming the beak's the only part I don't eat. As I said, correct me if I'm wrong. There we go, that's a beak. Actually, I'm not going to eat the head. That looks like it's full of guts. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not eating the head. Alright guys, now I'm going to tenderise the octopus. I might try and get the skin off him later, but for now I'll just tenderise it. And there you have it. Now for the brim. I'm just going to skin and fill it this and I'm going to throw it in the pasta as well. You can never have too much seafood, right? Cut the fillets there guys, throw them in the pasta as well. So we got our sea urchin, our octopus, our fish. We're gonna do it over pasta, over the hot coals. For now I'm gonna get out of this rain. Hopefully it stops by later this evening and we can get a fire going and cook this dish up for you guys. I can't wait, I hope you can't either. See you at the fire later. Okay guys, the rain stopped, the sun's coming out and we have fire. She's a pretty smoky fire at the moment, but it should get good after a little while. The first thing I'm going to do is cook the octopus. I'm going to go over and cook it on my gas cooker because I'm going to try a method another mate told me about, and that is to peel a few potatoes, which I've already done. Cook the octopus with the potatoes, get it up to boil, make sure the potatoes are fully cooked, and then put it on a slow simmer for about an hour with the octopus in there. This apparently will cause the starch to come out of the potatoes and tenderize the octopus. Righto guys, that's much better now about smoke blowing in my eyes. So, throw a pot of water on the gas cooker. There we have it, our potatoes and our oki. Now we bring that up to a boil, get the potatoes fully cooked, and then turn it right down to a slow simmer for about an hour they reckon releasing all the starch into the octopus and tenderizing it. While we wait for this, I'm gonna to start to cut up some onions and get the fish ready. Two beautiful big onions. So now I'm gonna cut these up to add them to the dish. Absolutely great knife, these Kershaw knives. I've been using these since I was a kid to clean our fish, prepare our meals. Best quality knife out there. bit more finely diced than last time. <laughs> I just wanted to show you this guys. This is actually what's left of a sea urchin. So it's a sea urchin shell. If you are ever wondering, I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen these things laying around the beaches and rock pools and always wondered what they were. Yeah, it's actually off a sea urchin. So octopuses and little fish must get in and eat the sea urchins and suck all the meat out of them and all the roe out of them. This is what's left over. Quite a pretty looking shell. You get a lot of people that actually paint these. Yeah, nice. Oki's just about done, I'm pretty sure. Take him over and we'll cut him up. Right, uh, I've got the Oki cooked now, ready to cut him up. Then I can throw the pan over the fire and start the cook.
quite tender. It's actually not too bloody bad. Quite tender, good flavour. Cut him up into small pieces like that. Bloody oath. Look at that. It's quite nice. So that's your oki, all diced up, ready to throw in the dish. Bloody looks good, doesn't it? Now I'll cut the fish up. All right, guys, so we got the oki, we got the fish, we got your sea urchin, got your pasta, got your onion, Trusty coconut oil that I always use. I love this stuff. Brings out the best flavor. Salt and pepper. I bought this cheese and onion stir fry mix. I thought I'd throw that with it just to add a bit of extra flavor to the pasta as I'm cooking it. Haven't had this one before, but see how she goes, eh? Time to start cooking over the hot coals. Throw a pan on, we'll get him nice and hot, and we'll add some coconut oil. Righto, get your coconut oil on. Ooh, smoky. Throw our onion in. Turn our onion so it goes nice and see through. Okay, guys, the onion is just about done. So now I'll throw my fish in because that's not cooked yet. Cook it for a little bit with the onion, then I'll add everything else. Fish is cooked. Doesn't take long to cook little bits of fish like that. It's nice and white already. Throw the oki in. Stir them around. Let it simmer for about a minute. Right, oh, time to add the pasta. It's going a bit hard. She'll be right, mate. <laughs> Right, that pasta's in. Sauce time. Stir him around. Actually, it looks quite nice. Smells good too. Stir him around, get all the flavors through. Bit of salt. Bit of pepper. Alright guys, that's pretty well done. Now I'll add the sea urchin, stir it around for another minute or two and then she'll be ready to eat. Bloody looks the part. Could be another successful dish guys. That looks fantastic. Bit of sea urchin there, bit of oki, bit of smoke. Good. It's really good. That is great. Alright guys, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna dish this out to my family for Father's Day. Comment, let me know what you think, and please subscribe if you enjoy my videos. See you on the next episode of Baghdad guys. You look at that. How good does that look?